Jackson, some runs to Clinton Portis. So lockdown with a little bit of a unique scheme here, and you love to see it. He qualified using Panthers, but yeah, since he likes using shotgun bunch, empty draw, like that version of that in the Steelers book. And again, two guys who really are Steelers fans. I mean, we're not doing a, a, a fake out on anybody here. I and mean, these guys are, are repping it very well. PK is who's got his, his hands all over it. And one hand is not doing real well. He just got out of surgery. He just got a, his sling off not too long ago. Yeah, he's fresh out of soldier, uh, shoulder surgery on that right shoulder. He said it's just been a long time coming at playing quarterback for all those years and all those flag football leagues, playing a lot of softball and baseball. And the injuries finally caught up to him. But the good news for deliverance, he said, hey, the surgery didn't affect my Madden game none, and I'm still ready to rock. Uh, Three-peat is so tough to pull off in Madden Club championship play. What Pavin has done with the Raiders is unicorn stuff. Manu couldn't pull it off with Carolina. Blocky couldn't do it with Miami. See what we got here in a semifinal and that chance. They'll still have to get by Joel, who again was a 20 to 7 winner over Ish before this one kicked. And remember, we saw Joke win his third Browns Club Championship. Jordan Pavin is the only other player to win three club championships for the same team. Deliverance trying to put himself in that exclusive list of players to accomplish that. Working with Steve Young, who's got the escape artist tag on him. And that's DeMarco, the fullback, who motions. Get him, Pollard. Popular Madden pick. The rookie out of Memphis sliding forward four. Well, a loss. Yeah, and Deliverance, he has a pretty balanced attack. He's running the ball around 40%. He's passing a little bit over 50%. So this is a guy that's going to mix it up on the offensive side of the ball. He's got a slot apprentice on Marvin Harrison. That lefty toss, and there is Harrison slugged out of bounds. It's going to be tough to move the ball against Lockdown. Let me just read off some of the goons that the Lockdown has on the defensive side of the ball. 91 Xavier Howard, 91 Troy Palomalu, 92 Marlon Humphrey, 89 Champ Bailey, 90 Deion Sanders, Shazier, Telvin Smith, Clowney, Brian Burns. He is stacked on the defensive side of the ball, Josh. He throws in a Raven, Marlon Humphrey in there. Seems like every time you and I do a game together, Marlon Humphrey does something too. So we'll watch that on a third and 11. And Deliverance with Young loading up. He's at the first down sticks. Got it. Good pocket presence right there from Deliverance. Just recognizes the three-man rush. Doesn't panic. Stays strong. And finds the budget guy, DeMarco, just sitting wide open on a little curl route for big first down. Pittsburgh roots we mentioned for Deliverance. And Pollard will get dragged down here. They've tried him a couple times and nothing there yet. Yeah, that Tony Pollard, 89 speed. He's a budget player, team of the week. Very popular halfback. But right there, lockdown has the remedy. Couple minutes in and no score. And again, they motion out DeMarco, the fullback. There's Pollard with a little bit of wiggle. Not a makeable third down now. Nice little juke, and you don't really see that. He comes out in that strong twin tight end. You got two tight ends on, you know, the left side, the strong side, and then he's motioning one over it, kind of giving the disguise. Look, we saw him get blown up with the stretch, trying that, went right back to the dive, had some success. Now, remember, he's got Dante Hall, too. Deliverance considers himself a run first guy. Says every once in a while, he likes to pop one deep. Third and three from midfield. Don't know if that's the time or not, but you got to at least keep that in mind. Yeah, the predictable handoff, and there is the first down. A little bit more. Sliding all the way past the 45 is Pollard. Yeah, Deliverance doing a good job right now, just keeping the ball on the ground, playing mistake-free, letting Tony Pollard do his thing, and... You know, moving the ball against Lockdown is not easy. Remember, Lockdown is a guy that outscored his opponent 78 to 24 in online elimination. So he's playing some hot Madden right now, but Deliverance doesn't seem to care so far on this drive. Lockdown will put Troy P in the box a ton. Says he never uses one, his abilities on defense, just kind of trusts the stick work. Loads up on offense instead. He hasn't had the ball yet. Another run play already for it there. 
Yeah, if you're locked down, you, you really expect your defense to do work for you. I mean, this is where he spent pretty much all of his cap is just straight on the defensive personnel. I believe on offense, the only playmakers he has is the Lamar, the Portis, and I think it's the Dante Hall or the Marvin Harrison, only one receiver. It's the, yeah, the Marvin Harrison. So he only has three efficient offensive players. The rest of the cap spent on this defensive personnel. Second and ten in a scoreless first quarter. Deliverance deliberately getting the ball down the field. A lot of run. And you notice a lot of time off the play clock too, RG, every single time. Smart by deliverance. Running again. There's a, a little bit of room here for Pollard. All the way home. Touchdown deliverance. Are you kidding me? Look at him, Michael Pinter representing those Pittsburgh Knights, going for his three-peat right here. Comes out against lockdown with the lockdown defense. But Tony Pollard puts the team on his back, and deliverance opens up with a big touchdown. That's how to get it done on the main stage. Lockdown usually averages about 50 yards allowed per game on the ground. That was a 50-yard burst, pretty much. Yeah, that's a good point right there, lockdown. Not used to giving up big plays like this, but good stick work right there from Deliverance, just right up the hole on the dive play. Pollard's on his horse. Lockdown doesn't like it. Officially a 45-yard gallop for Pollard, the former Memphis Tiger. All right, so now we flip the script and see if Lockdown has an answer. Again, looking to move on and play Joel in the final. It's here the Steelers Club Championship semifinal, second of two. See how lockdown responds here. A lot of Lamar, and he's got Clinton Portis, too. This is a guy that looks to run first. Play clock almost all the way out, and nothing happening for Portis. Oh, gee, if we're saying the key to the game is can Deliverance stop the run from that small sample size right there, it looks like Deliverance brought his run defense. Looks like Lockdown's gonna go to his famous gun empty bunch right here. This is the formation he feels most comfortable in. It looks like a passing formation, but you also need to respect the QB draw from Lamar Jackson. He will get busy with Lamar out of this formation, even though it's empty. And Lockdown is loaded up. He's got a good offensive line. Look at the guards that he's using, guys like Brian Waters and Adam Timmerman. Deliverance on top for now. There is Lamar Jackson. And he'll skip all the way through. No. Put a move on. Lamar Jackson being chased. Lamar Jackson has scored. And lockdown is level. If he can kick the extra point, then he will. Yeah, here's the problem for Deliverance. He bleeds black and gold, but so does Lockdown. The diehard Steelers fan said Lamar Jackson was going to do work for him, and he does work for him right there. And look at the focus of young Cameron Yancey. Back on the main stage and made it a ball game. We got ourselves a good one here, Josh. With two long run plays, one from a quarterback, one from a rookie running back. Deliverance used Pollard. There's a 22-year-old Lamar Jackson with a little wiggle. And if you're Deliverance, this has got to be a little bit discouraging. He knew coming into the game that Lamar Jackson was Lockdown's go-to guy, and he, we have a note from Deliverance. I'm going to have to contain Lamar if I want to have success against him. So far, no good for Deliverance on that end. He made Deliverance's Dion look like a hologram right there. <laughs> And the handoff, they will feed the beast yet again to see what they can get out of that run game. And as we go forward into the second quarter, we still haven't seen a, a big pass play from either player. Yeah, both just controlling the clock on the ground. Uh, deliverance, you know, with the prolific drive, got it to Tony Pollard, took some time off the clock, broke the big run, lockdown, got blown up on his first play and then took it to the crib right away on his second one. So we're seven up, going from the 26-yard line on a second and nine. He's got to watch out for the dive or the stretch out of this formation. It's what Deliverance is looking to do. Oh, he's going to pass. Finally looking to let it fly, and he will deep. Got a man. He said it. 
that Dante Hall might get free at some point, and this is the point. Early second quarter, what a call. That is absolutely the point, and that is a brilliant play call right there from Michael Penta. He comes out in that single back wing, and everybody's expecting the stretch or the dive, especially on first and second down. He goes, airs it out, catches Hall up the seam, and re responds to lockdown's big play with a big play of his own. This is fireworks so far. You know, the dirty little secret about Dante Hall, the joystick actually had only 12 touchdowns as a wide receiver in his NFL career, was better known for those 12 touchdowns on returns. But as much Madden as you've watched, you've probably seen 12 Dante Hall touchdowns just in the last two days. Oh, all day long. And Madden speed kills more than anything, and nobody as fast as Dante Hall. And that's part of why he's so popular here at the Madden Championship Club Series. Repping time right there for Dante Hall. 14-7 ball game. And again, trying to establish a run, Clinton Portis. We've seen this movie before. Blew up the run on first down, and then lockdown goes to this gun empty on second down and draw it to the crib. Let's see what happens here. Lockdown's got Portis and Champ Bailey as teammates. Remember, they were traded for each other rather famously a while ago. Lamar Jackson's already been in the end zone once, using his legs, not his arm. And you figure lockdown's going to go pretty heavy with Lamar on the run in this one. He'll do it here. Trying to get outside, Troy Palomalu says you will not. Good stick work from lockdown to get to the outside, find a lane, but better tackle from Troy P. And if you're delivering, that's what you want to see from your defense. You need to keep that QB draw under control because it has big, big play potential. Third and six, and the double Troys are coming down here from safety, Palomalo and Troy Apke. Yeah, I think we talked about that. Everyone's always going to have a Troy in the safety, whether it's Palomalo or Apke. You're guaranteed at least one. Go, Troy, go, look out! On. And Lamar almost coughed it up, too. Deliverance pumped up. Look at that hat. That's a nice hat. That, that's his sponsor right there. Those are the Pittsburgh Knights. It's a nice-looking hat. And they've hooked him up with all kinds of opportunities. He said he recently got to go and play some Madden with Ryan Shazier. And he was not shy about putting Shazier on his team. That, that's a nice hat. I that's like pretty, pretty fun when he told, you know, Deliverance showed Ryan Shazier a new blitz in Madden. Beat him head-to-head 21-0, -head but it's like it's a lovely parting gift here. Yeah. here. Here's a nice new blitz for you. I'm sure Shazier appreciated that one. It's the cool stuff. That's the type of things, these club, type of opportunities, these club championships open up for these guys. And so far, Deliverance has taken full advantage of the opportunities the Steelers organization has given them. Yeah, imagine being able to hang with Ryan Shazier. Especially, it would be cool. For, I'm a, you know, a Pats fan, and I would love to hang out with. Imagine being a diehard Steelers fan, getting to hang out with the legend like that. I mean, that, that's just cool stuff. 14-7. Trying to build on that here. Remember, the escape artist has been affixed to Steve Young for deliverance. Doesn't need it here. Just dumps it off to Pollard. It's going to bring up third down. Look at that. Four for four, 90 yards and a touchdown. Deliverance, just a nice balanced attack. Mixing up the run, mixing up the pass. Keeping lockdown off balance. Just taking his time on offense. I'm very impressed with this young man. And I'll tell you what, he always seems to step up his game when it comes to this Pittsburgh Club Championship. Hmm. There's something special about him in this tournament specifically. Well, after Misery won Madden 17, yeah, Deliverance winning 18 and 19. So he's a two-time defending Steelers Club champion. We talked about how difficult it is at this level to pull off that three-peat. And I'll tell you what, Josh, the crazy thing is when he won in 18, he came out of nowhere. Nobody knew who he was, and he made the final four of that final 32 club championship tournament kind of as, as a rookie, and it was just very impressive. That one ladled in a coverage. It's incomplete. 154 to go in this first half, a fourth and seven. This is what I call a momentum play, Josh. Deliverance is going to go for this. And this is, will establish who has the momentum right here going forward. Will Lockdown stand up for himself or will Deliverance get clutch? Lockdown trying to give this ketchup bottle a shake. 
right now. Make that defensive play and get right back in this thing. Harrison is tight left. Young buys time. Into coverage. Nope. It hung in the air. It was tantalizing there for a moment, right? I mean, that ball tipped. Harrison couldn't bring it down. Yeah, it, it looked good when he released it, but like you said, the ball hung in the air. Three defenders converge on the landing spot, knock the ball out, and Lockdown is back in business. And remember, Lockdown is going to get the ball coming out in the second half. So you go down here, you knock this thing up, you're feeling pretty good if you're locked down. Oh, for sure. And if you're locked down, you're highly motivated. You know, coming into this tournament, you're you're a big Steelers fan. Oh, oh Lamar gets on, cracked. Lamar. But you remember go, when we Lamar. talked to him, Josh, he said when Pop he qualified up. for this event, it was an emotional moment at the house. He's run, he's calling his mom, and uh, he said he was working so hard for this and to finally make it here. But he knows the job's not done. Now he's a big underdog, picked by 5% in the Twitter poll. But he's hanging right in there with Deliverance, the back-to-back the -back champion here. Lamar taking off, trying to turn the corner, can't do it. Good job so far from Deliverance. He let Lamar get busy the first time he saw that draw, but ever since, it's been a box. That's what they say, it's a box. Right, to bring up a third and 12. I want to see what, you know, Lockdown's been in this bunch. He's this empty bunch, and he's been running the draw. But I, I want to see what he has, you know, some passing plays. Let's see what he can dial up here in Dot. We have not exactly seen Dot City in this game yet. We've seen some big runs. One big pass play. A little gun empty flex right here. Which receiver do you like? Well, you got to watch Marvin Harrison. That, that's his only real reliable receiver. The problem is you got to think Deliverance is going to be sitting on him. Nope, he's just going to... No, he up. takes off. First down and more. Sliding near the 35 to move the chains. And in Madden 20, they'll do that for you. As soon as you sleep on that run, that's when it is most dangerous. Deliverance obviously thinking pass like most of us were right there. Lockdown goes back to the draw well, gets the first. They'll spread him out again, under a minute to go in the half. And that one advancing close to five. This clock's moving here, Josh. He's running out of time. Got to at least get some points here, right? Steer in a field goal range. He's got a, a Steeler and Chris Boswell if he needs him. Ooh! Did he miss that? There's a flag down. It's going to be intentional grounding. He wasn't outside of the pocket, and that is huge because we were just talking about him getting points. Now he's way out of field goal range. That was huge. A third and 22, so you're just trying to get 10 or 12 yards back here. Is that the goal? Oh, for sure. You want to get to about that 35-yard line. About th Get yourself back in the field goal range. You need about 13 yards here. Palomalu, Brandon Wilson, Deion Sanders all back there in the secondary. Deliverance also rocks a Lawrence Taylor. Only an 84 version, but there's Jackson trying to turn the corner. Got those yards back anyway. Clock stops at 30 seconds to go on what's going to be a fourth and 11. And a 14 to 7 game here. The Steelers Club Championship semifinal. Joel awaits the winner. I'm looking at Lockdown's team. He didn't bring a kicker to the party. He has the 10 cap Chris Boswell, who just doesn't have a lot of kick power, which is going to force him to go for this right here. Now, you put Graham Gano or somebody like that on your roster, you got a shot to kick. Timeout taken here. Chris Boswell debuted on a Monday night against the Chargers in 2015 and what was a big game for the Steelers. That was a, the Le'Veon Bell scoring on fourth and one as time expired. They didn't kick a field goal. Mike Tomlin went for everything. You see these guys, they're sneaking Steelers on their team all over the place. Shazir, yeah. Palomar, David DeCastro is up there on the O-line for deliverance. Yeah, I mean, any, if it's a coin flip, because these guys are such big Steeler fans, they take the Steeler, right? They really do bleed black and gold. All right, so here's a fourth and 11. I want to see what kind of magic lockdown can conjure up here. Lamar looking. He flings it into coverage and it's going to be picked. I don't want that. I was going to say, you probably are better off just to bat that down, right? Yeah, Deliverance not happy about that interception. You definitely would rather your defender just swat it down 
You heard him say, I didn't want that. You didn't want that. And if you are going to pick it up, stay on your feet so we can try to get pick six. That's possibly leaving three points on the field there, if you think about it, right? Because he was close enough to midfield off that incompletion. Oh, look out here. Sacked by Troy P. back inside the five. He's got to be careful. He was throw it, trying to throw that ball right as he was getting hit. Fortunate Young doesn't just let that go. The lockdown had another timeout to use. There are still 12 seconds to go, so don't don't get too cute back here, right? I mean, you don't want to turn this into 14 and 9. Yeah, if you're deliverance, you just got to run some sort of stretch or dive right here, try to break a run, get to the second half. There's the stretch. Yeah, just to get out of the shadow there. So it would appear that we're going to go 14 to 7 in a half now. And Deliverance trying to survive and trying to make it a possibility of a three-peat, but Lockdown is right there with him. He's going to run one more play here before we get to the second half. He's going to do this RPO stretch to the left, most likely. There it is. Yeah, there's our official halftime now. Tenth time Pollard carried in that first half. Had that one long run for 45 of his 72 yards. But both teams looking to run often. And Deliverance has done it just a little bit better. It's 14 to seven. Lockdown will get the ball to start the third quarter. $6,500 on the line in this bracket. Madden 20 Club Championship and the Mark Barron autograph on the trophy helmet. Thanks to the Steelers for throwing that at the winner. Be a special jersey for the winner too. That'll be presented after the final. This is the Steeler Club Championship semifinal here. Joel beat Ish 20 to seven just before we got rocking here. And now we'll get back to action third quarter. Adjustments, what are you looking for here, RG? Well, both of these guys, you know, they played their game, you know, pretty solidly. If you're deliverance, I, I think you played as well as you really could have. You controlled the game on offense. You didn't take too many risks. And then you started containing that draw. I think that's the key to this game. This lockdown doesn't seem to have too much going for him on offense besides that Lamar Jackson draw. So it's how will deliverance do against that? And if you're locked down, how many big plays can you make with Lamar Jackson? If lockdown can advance, this would be a rematch against Joel. Earlier in the ladder, they went overtime. Lamar Jackson will survey, and now Boogie. Get to the outside, get that first down. And lockdown, remember, he's been playing some hot mat, and he said he almost didn't make this club. He was on a six-game losing streak on the ladder, and then he said about two days before the ladder closed, he made some adjustments to his team, really geeked up the defense, and went on a 29-3 to run to qualify for online elimination, and then went 3-0 and in online elimination. So he's been hot so far, but Deliverance been able to cool him down in this game up to this point. The tuck and run, Lamar Jackson will wedge his way left. And, you know, I think it's a fair point, RG, because lockdown is really just now getting into the mutt dynamic. He's getting into the mechanics of roster building now. I know that's nerd mode, but it's an important thing. No, it's very, very important. The most casual people are going to tune into this, and they're going to say, hey, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Why is Lamar Jackson at quarterback? <laughs> of all this people, makes, right? Yeah, of all people, this makes no sense, but it is because they're playing in Madden Ultimate Team salary cap, and they build their own rosters, and building those rosters is a unique skill that takes time for players to develop, and this is the first year that Lockdown really feels he's developed that skill. And it's paid off. It's got him up here, which is the furthest he's made it in the MCS era. You can have the the slick stick work, and that's part of it, I know, but you got to build your brain, too. Get that roster just right. All aspects of the game. You got to put the team together. You got to put the game plan together. Then you got to go out and execute it. Here's a third and one trying to execute that, and he's got Portis in the backfield. He will use Portis. It doesn't happen. Troy Palomalu. Boy, that was read beautifully by Deliverance. And here we go, because this is going to be a big fourth down play. Lockdown's going to go for this. If Deliverance can get a stop right here, he'll be close to field goal range to make it two possessions. Biggest play of the game thus far. Quarterback draw with Jackson, or what do you look That's at? what you got to watch out for. That's been his bread and butter to this point. Nope, he's passing. Takes off a little late. He's got it. Move those chains, and Lockdown needed that. Oh, that was scary. 
Lamar Jackson just ended up surrounded by defenders, but able to slide before he gets hit. Picks up the first down. And here goes Locke. Dale yeah, just chuck it out of bounds. Mentioned lockdown just turned 25 earlier this week. He was born during the, the 1994 Steelers run to 12 and 4, and eventually a heartbreaking loss in the, the AFC title game back at Old Three River Stadium. And he has kept that allegiance all the way through, this guy, from Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, Central Pennsylvania. And he said one of his dreams is to get to a Steelers game. He's actually never been to Heinz Field. Right, and meantime, Deliverance is hanging out with Shazier and Latrobe. And winning this club championship at Heinz Field last year during a Thursday night game. Lockdown's trying to wet beak on some of that. Yeah, it's basically, if you want to frame it that way, you've got Lockdown trying to get to what Deliverance has already had. For sure. Right? I it, mean, and if you're Deliverance, this is your home. This is your zone. Nobody comes in your home or your zone. You got to defend it. Third and nine. I like it when you rhyme. <laughs> Jackson has Ooh. Ross. What a move. And he almost got to that first down stick. And here we go, another big fourth down, Josh. Big play after big play on this opening drive in the second half. Oh, he just converted a fourth and two to lockdown. Going to try it on a fourth and one. Needs a 39-yard line to keep this drive alive. Jackson turning the corner. Go! He's got it. He's got the 20. He's got the 18-yard line. With your deliverance, you're a little bit frustrated. He had him in the backfield with Afke. He doesn't have, but Afke is not Troy P. You don't have that secure tackler, so it's harder to match that tackle animation. Yeah, the wrong Troy. Yeah, the wrong safety on him. You're right, it was the wrong Troy. If that's Palomalo, that could be a turnover on downs. Instead, it's Afke. And lockdown continues to keep this drive alive. And look, he's almost about to take the whole entire third quarter with this one. Yeah, it's a great point. It's been one drive. 14-7 deliverance, the two-time defending champion. The Steelers Club Championship semifinal. Jackson chased and hurls it out of bounds. He locked on. He's only one for four with eight yards and an interception. Just the passing game, definitely not his strong suit, but we said it coming into this game. He's a runner. He leads all Pittsburgh Steelers players in rushing per game, so that's where he's going to be his bread and butter. Ooh. Lamar Jackson hit hard. So at some point, I mean, third and long right now, I know you said he's only completed one pass, but John Ross, Marvin Harris, I mean, those are two halfway decent looks for him, right? For sure, for sure. Mar uh, Marvin Harrison's going to be his go-to guy. He's wide left. You got to watch out for that draw again, though. We've seen him get run that draw in the same situation for a first down. That's a very good point. So it's all about where your position Troy P, I would think, in that regard. Jackson, boy, he's on the run. Can anybody get open? Nope. All right, so now what on fourth? Oh, he's going to take the field goal. Uh, he, he really believes in his defense. That's the strong suit of his game. Take the three, go out there, play some solid defense, and give yourself a chance to get the guap drive and win the game. 36-yarder for the actual Steeler, Chris Boswell. And it's nails. And it's a ball game, son. It's 14 to 10. Oh, we got a good one in the fourth quarter. You know, both of these guys got their girlfriends at home watching. They said, we got to shot them out. Lockdowns, girlfriend, Melina. And then Deliverance girlfriend, Lori, who we've seen support him throughout the years at these events. They got to be at the edge of their seats. Steelers fans got to be at the edge of their seats. We have a good one here in the fourth quarter. Deliverance was telling us that, that Lori has started to backseat quarterback a little bit. Why, why didn't you throw B on that last play? <laughs> she, yeah. She's great. She's been getting into it over the years. She continues to go to the events when she can, and yeah, she's into it. They got a date night weekend promised either way. And there's going to be a smile on that man's face heading into date night if he can hang on. Lockdown says he also has his mom in attendance. His mom, Ricky, coming out in attendance to support him. First tournament. First tournament, and he's been playing forever just on the underground scene, so that was a big deal for him to get Mama Lockdown out here. Steve Young to work on a second and six, and Pollard, who's had a, a heavy load here. That juke 
didn't really do anything. Third down play right here for deliverance. A lockdown converted on a couple of big fourth downs on that drive in the third quarter. Again, it gobbled up pretty much the entire third quarter. But he came away with only three instead of seven. And he's in this wing flex close to single back, very popular formation. You can run, he can pass. He's passing. Dante Hall's open, but he goes the other way. He's got DeMarco, the fullback, open to move the chains. It's a great play call. That's the second time we've seen Deliverance go to that well on a big third down. Everyone just kind of rushes over to that Marvin Harrison on the corner route. You forget about that curl route in the middle of the field. He possession catches it to secure it. Big first down right there from Deliv. Raiders playbook, but a 49ers quarterback. If you're watching in the Bay Area, I know that's got to be kind of weird to swirl around in your in your head, but Steve Young's good pick. You run that West Coast look. Stretching oh, here and tripped up. Tackle. Troy Palomalu had it red. Yeah, that's a huge tackle. Yeah, if I was to explain the salary cap to a casual fan, it's kind of like a daily fantasy lineup. You get a cap, and then you just got to pick the best players you can to, you know, make a roster with that cap associated with you. The better the player, the higher their cap. So you got a two-time MVP, a Super Bowl MVP, and Steve Young trying to finish his drive here and finish a victory for PK Deliverance. I mean, PK has been added now for those Pittsburgh Knights. Young loading up. Oh. Whistles it into coverage, it's picked. Well, he said it earlier, Marlon oh, Humphrey, no for whatever reason, that, over these no last impact. couple days, he's everywhere in every game. Oh, yeah, I mean, I know this is the Steelers Club Championship, but those Ravens have been coming up big for lockdown. Lamar Jackson on offense, and then Marlon Humphrey right there on defense. Boy, what a turn this is, with 2.39 to go. And we talked about it, that's why it was important for lockdown to take his three. He's reliant on the defensive side of the ball. His defense comes through for him, and now he has the ball with a chance to take the lead in the fourth quarter. This is what it's all about, and this is where you want to be if you're locked down. Trying to take what Deliverance has owned for the last couple of years. And again, and there's still one more hill to climb. There's still Joel that awaits in the final. That's a tall hill to climb. Joel is no pushover. He is also a diehard Steelers fan. That is going to be a phenomenal championship game regardless of who comes away with this one. Lamar Jackson, the underneath. And a heavy hit on Portis, who just could not get free. So you got a third and seven now. And again, you're, you're not looking to push in a field goal range. You're too late in the game. You need your seven. Yeah, you need this is this is a touchdown drive for lockdown. He, field goal's no good. And something that's worth mentioning is lockdown only with two timeouts. So he, he's almost pretty much all in on this drive. Empty backfield. He's got Portis in the slot. Had Ross in the other slot. Now has him out wide left. And a timeout. This is too important. Well, actually, a two-minute warning here uh, on a huge third and seven coming up. So we identify the receivers. Are you sold that he's actually throwing here, or do you do you run Lamar again? Now, since it's four-down territory, he'll probably go to Lamar. I mean, that's been your bread and butter. You're not going to want to run that play on fourth down. I think you have to go to it on third down. There it is. But they were ready. Palomalu was up in the box, had some help to clean up. So now, on a fourth and six, I think you're right. You, you can't really re rely on Lamar's legs anymore. Yep, and it's fourth and six. I saw Deliverance wipe the sweats off his hand on that terrible towel. He knows this is it. This is a big play. This could be for the guap, for the glory. Who wants it? Two wide left, two wide right. And here we go. Lamar loading. In the coverage, incomplete. That is a huge, huge play right there for Michael Pinter to get off of the field. If you're him right now, you just need to run this ball, take both of those timeouts, a first down, this game is over for sure. It's a shame for lockdown, he's already burned a timeout, right? That's valuable. Down here with a minute 22 to go, you're down four. Oh, losing that, not having all three timeouts is so critical right now for lockdown because best case scenario, he might get this ball back with about, you know, 30 seconds left in the game, which isn't a lot for his depleted offense. He's a run first type player. Clock will stop here one last time. So there's still one more first down make he's got to secure. 
Yeah, if I'm deliverance, I'm not going for the first down. I'm running the ball again. Punt it if you have to, knowing that it needs seven, right? Exactly. Punt it. He doesn't have jukebox. He doesn't have any crazy receivers that you really got to worry about. Make lockdowns, score a touchdown, go the, go the length of the field to do it. All right, so there you have it. It's going to be fourth down, and by the time you wind these 30 seconds, you're talking at maybe 35, 36 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, lockdowns going to have the opportunity to maybe run a couple QB draws to Lamar Jackson, try to break a big run, and that's about it. One thing that players don't do in this situation, Josh, that I think you should be doing is you got to try to block the punt here if he's going to punt it. Oddly enough, deliverance... Coming out in a three tight end formation here. Well, he's going to keep Steve Young on the field on fourth and five and go for the kill shot right now. You get these five yards and it's over. It's a little risky, though. You, you turn it over, you know, you're, you're two plays away from the end zone. He's got to be bluffing. He's bluffing. He's going to call timeout. Good call. Yeah, that was a bluff. But if you're locked down here, I'm telling you, no one goes for the block punt in this situation. If I'm locked down, I'm trying to block that punt. Because what do you got to lose, right? What do you got to lose? Does anybody ever load up on special teams, spend their mutt money, spend their, no, their no, salary cap? No, they, they don't no, do that, no, right? No, no, The deliverance smartly went into the max protect punt formation, well aware that a block punt would be devastating for him. Boy, you couldn't have asked for better than that. All three phases of the game right there. Josh in deliverance. What a huge punt. A little coffin corner action there. So uh, I would say this is quite a hill to climb. 25 seconds left, and you need the touchdown. No timeouts. And nothing open. That's still good, though, if you're locked down. You know, you... Snap the ball, take a look at what you had, get out of bounds, stop the clock, give yourself another chance. At some point, you got to think he's going to try to sneak in a draw and break a big run here. Ninety-four yards to glory. That's what he needs here in 20 seconds, though he does have the right quarterback. Can Lamar load up? It hangs up there. On oh my a goodness! Tip right on the helmet of one of the defenders. I've seen some crazy things, and we almost saw one of the craziest ones. If Portis would have caught that off the bounce, that would have been ridiculous. That would have been an all-timer. To have it rattle off a couple of helmets and go in for the win at triple zeros. All right, so now a fourth down, and you can't stop the clock. GG's in the chat, Josh. Throw him up. GG's, especially on the Deliverance side at the end. As Joel and Deliverance will get together as it turns out in the final. Lockdown did not make it easy. Oh man, look at them, you know, chopping it up there. Two Steelers fans, good show of respect. Two solid competitors. You know, Phenomenal game. One big play through the air the entire time. That was a Dante Hall pass. That was it. Everything else was a big run. This one from Lamar Jackson got it even, Steven. Yeah, you thought it was going to be a long day for deliverance, especially since he told us he was worried about stopping that draw, and then off rip, lockdown takes it to the cripple. But deliverance had an answer of his own. We're all thinking, run. He goes up top to Dante Hall, the human joystick. Deliverance ain't too bad on the joysticks himself. Well, he called that one for us. He said. When we talked to him, I consider myself a run guy, but every once in a while I want to pop one deep, and that's why I put Dante Hall on my team. And that ends up being the difference in the game. For sure. And you so look, at, look at this. On a, on a bounce, you wonder what could have been, but Deliverance hangs on. And kind of with one hand tied behind his back, right? He just had the shoulder surgery, just got the arm out of the sling. He has moved on. And he is standing by with Evan. Let's go there right now, Evan, with the winner. Wow, thank you so much, Josh. We're just talking about the old Pittsburgh Roots, born in South Florida, right? But actually, well, a born in Youngstown. Okay. Youngstown. But then moved to South moved Florida. To South so Florida. my roots are in Youngstown. It's an hour from Pittsburgh. Everyone always says, hey, well, why aren't you a Browns or Cincinnati fan? One, I think I made the right call. But two, it's, it's actually closer to Pittsburgh than it is those two. So, yeah. I like the towel. It's looking good.
I gotta give a little wave out here, right? A little terrible towel action, you know? <laughs> you gotta have the drip with you when you're representing the Steelers like this. Black you have a white. chance to keep going, though. I mean, you've made it to the finals. We were just talking about your run that you had previously in 18, where you came in third, got hit with the truck stick by problem. Yep. Um, what does it mean to get back to a chance to even be able to redeem yourself here? I mean, listen, it, you know, as every competitive Madden player, we know how rare it is and how hard it is to make it through this, this grind this year. I mean, we had guys like Rage coming into the club this year, having to go through him to even get here, right. um, you know, was telling it in a of itself but you know hey there's still more work to be done but it means a lot always means a lot to make a live event because they're not guaranteed they're not no not at all and let's talk a little bit about the game obviously you played lockdown and it was pretty competitive even towards the end a couple of things in that last drive went your way walk right. me through kind of how you were able to manage that situation yeah I mean really the bottom line was that I knew my biggest problem with him was going to be having to contain Lamar Jackson with the whole escape artist you know fast break the quarterback draw I had basically um, you know I subbed to Joel paid him my five bucks went ahead subbed <laughs> to him on Twitch to get the film and uh, I studied it and I saw that that wow. you know, Know, this is going to be the thing I was dealing with. So, you know, the couple weeks uh, I'm I'm coming up to this, basically, I said, hey, I got to find that. I got to find that QB draw defense. So, honestly, if it wasn't for that, I, I was going to be in a whole lot of trouble because that's really what the game came down to, in my opinion. Wow. That's true. That's that's true. That's what it's like to be an athlete right there. Taking a look at the film after practice. Let's take some film on the wall, though. Uh, this is a big touchdown that what allowed you to go up 14-7. Walk me through this moment. Yeah, so this is something huge. I actually just found this out. I think I was actually playing Mutt Challenges when I learned about this. Um, so basically, I had Slot Apprentice on Marvin Harrison, and when I flip the play, it, even though he's the outside receiver, it still allows him to stay on that Slot Apprentice. Oh. So really what I was looking for on that play, to be honest with you, was the corner route. But I noticed that with his, he was running cover three, he kept putting it to the other side of the field. So I knew he had to choose which one he wanted. He had to kind of pick his poison, and the, the better of the poison was open, so All I was right. a touchdown on that one. <laughs> Nice play, man. And that obviously set up a lot of momentum for you, made it really hard, and uh, allowed you to go ahead and take the win. But you play against Joel CP in the final. This is a, a matchup that Joel himself admitted he wanted because mm -hmm. you're the back-to-back -back champ. You're going for your three-peat. Right. He wants to beat the champ to prove that he really is the best. What do you know about Joel and, and heading into this final? I mean, what I know about Joel is, I mean, you know, he's he's a big name in the community, right? I think he's like 71% everyone picked him to win because he's a known name. He's right. a known name. He's out there. He's, you know, he's a, he's a smart kid, um, you know, and what he runs is always a little bit unique. That's usually the thing about Joel. So um, he's definitely going to be someone I can't really key in on one thing with him. I'm definitely going to have to be balanced. And so, you know, that's it's something I, I did look into a little bit of his film. I think I got a game plan for it, mm. but, you know, we'll have to see. Only time will tell. All right, PK Deliverance, congratulations. Right. He's into the finals, and we'll have that one coming up very soon. Soon. Our Steelers final is set.